Today with some major overnight developments here in the United States where the Department of Justice says top secret documents were likely concealed and removed from a storage room at former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida. The bombshell 36-page legal filing by the Department of Justice says the evidence was moved as part of an effort to obstruct a federal investigation into the discovery of highly classified government records. The FBI seized boxes and containers holding over a hundred classified records during the early August raid on the president's home, the former president's home. The Justice Department's filing came in response to a lawsuit filed by Trump, who is seeking a third party attorney known as a special master to be appointed to review the materials that were seized in the FBI raid on his home. The DOJ claims Trump lacks the standing to intervene in the investigation because the presidential records do not belong to him. They cited the Presidential Records Act and said the files are the property of the U.S. government and should never have been transferred to Mar-a-Lago in the first place. Trump's legal team argues his constitutional rights were violated in the raid and that some of the documents seized earlier this month contain material covered by executive privilege. The Mar-a-Lago raid and the controversy that unfolded resulting from it has solidified Trump's ratings among Republicans. Some are even slamming the FBI, accusing it of being politically motivated. But speaking in Pennsylvania on Tuesday, President Joe Biden said it is sickening to see new attacks on the FBI. But now it's sickening to see the new attacks on the FBI threatening the life of law enforcement agents and their families for simply carrying out the law and doing their job. Look, I want to say this as clear as I can. There's no place in this country, no place, for endangering the lives of law enforcement. No place. None, never, period. I'm opposed to defunding the police. I'm also opposed to defunding the FBI. And so we go live to Susan Terrani, who joins us again today from New York City, Weon's U.S. correspondent based there. Uh, Susan, another uh, bombshell series of developments, but this legal filing from the Department of Justice clearly seems to indicate uh, that investigators are closing in on obstruction charges that could be leveled against uh, Donald Trump and people in his inner circle. It does seem that way, although um, it's yet to be seen whether or not the Department of Justice will ultimately uh, file charges immediately or if they ever will, considering the fact that many believe that if the Department of Justice had anything on Donald Trump, they would have filed those charges already. And the specific content uh, of this raid right now is not clear whether or not, you know, uh, this image that we saw of these files scattered on that carpet or rug on Mar-a-Lago, if it really did have national security implications or not, or whether or not it will sort of resemble somewhat of a civil suit, if you may, of uh, basically the Department of Justice, the National Archives wanting these material and documents and then Donald Trump's team not handing them over and then perhaps the DOJ and FBI taking this measure and getting them back. Is that going to be the case or with the, will the DOJ have enough evidence to go ahead and uh, file charges? Immediately, many believe that that's not going to be the case. Even some will go as far to say that they just wanted these documents back. The question now remains whether or not the documents that Donald Trump had kept uh, allegedly, it's important to say allegedly, had national security implications and how important they were. Can we talk about Donald Trump's lawyers? He's had enormous difficulty recruiting a legal team to defend him. 
He seems within the last couple of weeks to have found, I think, three lawyers willing uh, to work with him. But those lawyers themselves are now uh, at risk, are they not, of being caught up in this investigation? Because if the Department of Justice says that there was likely an effort to conceal documents at Mar-a-Lago from federal investigators... Uh, some of those lawyers uh, may find themselves uh, being questioned by the Department of Justice over statements that they have made about the FBI raid uh, and about what was taking place with those documents over the last few weeks. So, I mean, we are moving to a situation where having just found lawyers who can represent him, uh, Donald Trump may need to find another team of lawyers because the lawyers themselves may get caught up in this probe. That's true. Donald Trump did have a lot of uh, trouble finding lawyers. I mean, we know this uh, uh, through media leaks. Uh, one of the reasons was because uh, of his reputation of possibly not paying his lawyers or not being good at paying them. And on the other hand, because he doesn't really take that well of advice from his lawyers. Um, for now, the team that's representing him uh, represented Tim uh, Scott of um, Florida, the former governor, and sort of worked on the transition to uh, Governor Ron DeSantis, uh, and then, you know, worked on a lot of other governorships as well. So, you know, they seem pretty confident in what Donald Trump is doing right now. And remember, what we're hearing right now is really through this leaks from the media on the one hand and then on the other hand this 38 page or 36 page filing that is sort of in defense of uh, the fbi and the justice department so that donald trump does not have that uh, a sort of a special person that special oversight that the judge will decide on thursday to sort of um monitor uh, the DOJ and the FBI uh, to, to look at these documents. Although, you know, it seems that the DOJ and the FBI have already gone through these documents. Uh, it's not clear how uh, even that special master would even help uh, in any way. Uh, but, you know, this, this is as far as we know, and we only heard one side of the story. So we'll have to wait and see, you know, how this develops with the issue. Uh, legal issues regarding Donald Trump, anything is possible. And as we've seen in the last six, six years, stories seem to flip uh, one way or the other at the last minute.